<laughs> Hello there. So this is a very quick video because I want to show you a tip that I shared on X recently. Mrs. Isis asked if uh, it's possible to change the scene that an in uninherited scene inherits from. So it's basically uh, saying that how can we change the parent scene of an uninherited scene. This is a common thing to do because most of the time we are doing refactoring during production and we should treat scenes as if they were classes in object-oriented uh, programming because this is what they actually are. So we are, uh, if at some point in our production we create a, a we create a class that has other features or that has a cleaner code or a cleaning a cleaner implementation, and we want to change the inheritance of a a new class or a new in this case a new scene, uh, we should be able to do that, right? So. Uh, this can make us progress and make cleaner code base for our game. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So how you can change the inheritance chain of your scenes. Here I have a level. Uh, this is a level from th this series that we made previously about how to make a platformer game using the recipes from the Platform Essentials cookbook. If you didn't purchase the cookbook yet, uh, it's a very good cookbook. All uh, it's it has many reviews. I don't remember how many, but it maintained five stars throughout this year and such that it was released. So it's a very good content. And recently, I added two new recipes. So two extra recipes on top of the fourteen recipes. The the main the 14 main recipes that we have on the first edition of the book. So now we have two extra recipes. One of them is about input remapping. And the second one is about wall jumping, which all honesty is one of the best implementations of wall jumping in Godot engine that I've seen so far. I'm humble guys, but this is very true. So I'm going to show you uh, what I, I need to do to change the inheritance of the player scene so that it can now um, implement these features of wall jumping. So if I test this scene here, you can see that I don't have wall jumping, right? So I'm pressing space here. Uh, let's go to this other wall here. So I can I can jump wall jumping this wall. I, can, if, I can't even slide here. So let's change that. I want this character to implement the features that I added in this wall jumping, uh, wall jumping character scene here. So you can see that it has a wall detector uh, raycast. It also has some new code here. So uh, I already experimented with that. I know that this is working and I know that this is a good implementation. So now I want to change the uh, inheritance chain of the king player character, king player character because since now I already confirmed that this is the new implementation that I want to add to this uh, class to this scene I, I need to change the the um, inheritance chain because currently it inherits from pass through player so it has the ability to pass through some level uh, collisions so it can jump through some platforms as well but the wall jumping also inherits from this pass through player and it adds up more features and I want these features on this king player character. So what I'm going to do is to go to the king pig player uh, king pig player scene here in the file uh, file system doc and I'm going to right click it, edit dependencies and you can see that I have here the pass through player dependency. This is the scene that this scene inherits from. This is the parent scene of this scene. So I'm going to change this this file to be the wall jumping character here. And another thing that I will need to do is to change the inheritance chain on the script itself as well. So I'm going to this player to the um, no, um, class here and instead of pass through it will extend the wall jumping character to D. And this is all I have to do in order to implement these new features on the King Pig player. So if we go back to the moving platform level, which was the one that I was testing before, you can see that now it wall jumps. So let's go to the same uh, wall here and now it wall jumps. Pretty cool, right? So this is another 
tool on our arsenal so we can refactor our code our code base so i hope you enjoyed this kind of content please leave a thumbs up if this is the case don't forget to <laughs> subscribe to the channel because i know that 70 percent of you guys are not subscribed so please subscribe right now and that's it thank you so much for watching grab the cookbook i will leave the key the link in the description as well so you can follow up with these approaches because i'm going to use the platform essentials cookbook recipes a lot here in the channel because they help uh, they help me uh keep up with a production that i can basically just focus on other high level content instead of just focus on how you can implement the basic movement of a character and since this is already done in the platform essentials cookbook you can follow up with the videos as well because i'm going to work on new content that presumes that you already read the book that's it thank you so much for watching keep developing and until the next time see you there